going on guys it's marcus from wall street assassins and in this video i'm going to teach you how to use td ameritrade and how i have it set up all my indicators so let's get going over here on the left you can see this is the watch list these are all the stocks that you're watching i tend to not use this watch list just because i like to use the one on Robinhood. remember i only use this as a free app to chart my charts to see where the stock is going on the top left here you can actually Look for stocks that you want to trade. Right now we're looking at HHC. You could type in a different company, the Chipotle, right? Then if you want to scroll over, right, you go to the toolbox over here. I typically just use the top four over here. This over here, you could use the pan over, right, to see what Chipotle is doing, right? Say if I want to zoom in, I could use the one with the dollar symbol. I hold it from, I left click it, hold it, slide it to the left, right? And then as you can see, it zooms in, right? This tool right here with the dollar symbol, I tend to use it the most. You could also use it to do your support and resistance, right? I start from the left side, I double click it. This way I could get the most effective lines, right? And also if you right click, you can also set alerts. You right click, right? Scroll down to create alerts. And I could be alerted. It's gonna make a buzz sound if it goes above the price that I set or I can make a buzz sound if it goes below the price I set, right? So that's cool. Um, this is my stock scanner. This is pretty much how I look for stocks in the morning. If you go over here by stocks, this is the minimum price that you're looking for. And of course you could adjust them, go to the, a higher price if you're looking for something else. Um, this is the stock volume, right? So right now I'm looking for 5,000 and above. Um, click scan. I, I go straight to the percent change right i typically look for ones that are 10 percent and higher right those are the ones with the actions let's go to the the chart right here this is the flex grid you could keep more than one stock watch more than one stock over here i like to use that sometimes not all the time i typically like to keep it simple and look at one chart at a time trade one stock at a time also right so if you go over here it's like a chemistry bottle right um this is all your indicators. There's millions of indicators. I just use these few over here. I use the EMA, moving average, simple moving average, VWAP, MACD, and the RSI. You type them in over here, drag them over where you want to put them, click apply, and there you go. Over here on, on this wheel, this is basically the appearance, how you want your TD Ameritrade to look. I think the only thing I clicked over here was the overlapping volume. After you click whatever you want to click over here, you just click apply, and then it'll add it on for you, right? Um, double check this with yours to see what you have. Go to price access, right? I don't think I touched too much over here. Um, I think this is the only thing I touch. I added a little bit. I put it to 1,000 just so that I could pan over when the stock is moving. Time frames, these are the different charts, um, time frames of charts that you're looking for, right? Or you're looking at. Um, I typically just use the top three when I'm day trading. Appearance, you could change the appearance of your candles, different colors. I typically look like keeping it classic, standard red and, red and green. Um, you could pick which kind of chart you want to look at. There's multiple charts, right? So the, um, I typically bounce around from the line graph to the candle graph, right? Candle graph gives you a little bit more, more information when you're tra trading. Line graph is good when you're doing support and resistance for longer terms for those extended swing trades. Um, I didn't really touch anything over here. You could double check that with yours. With yours. Um, options, you could double check that with yours. I don't think I touched anything. Features, I don't think I touched anything over here. Forex, same thing. Um, exit out of that. Um, let's go to another stock. Seems to have low volume right now. As you can see, the green over here, this is time and sales. I like to keep my time and sales up when I'm trading just because it gives me more confirmation when I'm getting in and out of a stock. Say if I want to go long on a stock and the stock and the time and sales are green, that's giving me more indication that it's a good time to buy, that the stock is going to keep on going higher, right? Um, if I see a lot of red, then it may be an indicator for me not to get in at the time because there's buy, um, sellers kicking in. Um, on the same toolbar over here, I'm almost done. The same toolbar over here, right? You can see news. This basically gives you the news for the current stock you're looking at. 
this is one of the places I look. I also use Yahoo Finance. I use a various number of apps to look for news. Um, that's pretty much it on how I have my TD Ameritrade set up. If you have any questions, please message me at Wall Street Assassins on Instagram. Also leave a like, subscribe, and a comment in the box if you have any questions. Thank you.